Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Trusted Jam, Guy is Quito, you can call me Quito, either one would do. I answer to both, please like, share, subscribe, donate, all that good jazz, if you want to book a reading with me, it's going to be in the description description box below. Um, you guys might have the excuses set up for the night, and the bonnet, because baby, she getting deep conditioned, and I'm full moon finna come, so you know I'm doing extra cleansing work, my house, my body, everything, because <laughs> you know how the karmics like the karmic. So let's get into this. First message I have, I had this couple of days ago. Sagittarius man sacrificed his son to make his manifestations, however you want to put it, his craft work better. He sacrificed his own son. Um, it is a celebrity. He is a rapper. But he sacrificed his own son to make his his um black magic work better however you want to call it I call it negative energetic work um, people be referring back to the bible like a lot of people think that they're the souls of these people like who, who do you think you are like you're not the soul of Noah or, or, or Joseph or anybody like that because if you was you wouldn't be doing stuff like that though. you'll be on a whole nother page and that's what these karmics do they they try to mimic God and uh, they be so tricked in their mind too. It's like they try to mimic everything Christ conscious people doing. What they real fail to realize is that <clears throat> they was called by the most high God and not us, Azel, not the devil. They was called by the most high God. And God was testing them. Everybody's tests are not the same. So <laughs> it's just crazy. We uh, look back to those. Uh, scriptures as uh, testimonies of the truth and to share our testimonies to give people you know examples these are like you know examples just like something that happened before that really happened and how God would test you I'm um, not saying that God won't test somebody similar to um, sacrificing their child to see how faithful they are but I, I'm just I'm just like after the commandments I should not commit murder and God to you know it just don't make sense. Everything that God does do, He does decently in order, and it makes sense. It may not make sense to karmics, but it makes sense on um, every playing field. If you're a delusional, you don't count. <laughs> you don't count. <laughs> but um, I, 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 two, two, two on the clock. So definitely balance. But these people, that's what they need, some more balance in their life. They need to get their mind right for being so tricked. But it just be it, it just like bewilders me how people will go to how they get so tricked by Azazel and go to the point to the extent of thinking that they are some kind of grand I don't know. I don't ever want my calling to be like anybody else. I, I love being unique because I don't know. It, 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 I ain't even gonna lie. It irritates me when everything line up with somebody else's. Like my twin sister. Okay, I love her. That's she. You know, she my twin. Same mama, same daddy, same womb. No matter who, you know how karmic she is, I love her. But besides that, anybody else just like me. <laughs> like that's crazy. Like you don't want to be unique. You don't want to have unique calling. You want to be like other people. Those are tricks of Satan. Um, people that mimics. It's okay uh, to to have an anointing like Elijah and Elisha. That that's us. Uh, uh, um, how you say? Um, I think what called it's called a predecessor. But that's someone you know you pass something on to, um, and you you know that's totally different. That's orchestrated by God. If it's not orchestrated by the Most High God, then not it's demonic. Let's just put it that way. It's demonic. <laughs> we ain't gonna hold you up. It's demonic. <laughs> So we're gonna just cleanse. Welcome the Holy Spirit in here. Well, the Holy Spirit being welcome in here, but we're gonna do it on camera for people. You know. I feel so good, y'all. I cleansed today. We just did a spring clean, and we on rodeo. My kids on rodeo break, so we just cleaned up everything, and just um, I took my spiritual bath. I'm deep conditioning, like I told you. And just because you know the karmic's gonna be karmic, karmic -y on this moon cycle, you know how they do, you know what they do, we already know. 
And if you're still sitting through uh, with me through this, I, I appreciate you. Uh, for y'all who fast forward, I get you. I'm that person too. <laughs> but um, I just want to get some extra cleansing because they have been in my aura today. They have uh, when not when they're not in my aura. It's always something. It's either Stephanie P. Smith, Steve Noble, or some other karmic. But mostly Stephanie P. Smith and Steve Noble. Okay. Alright. Ooh, that wing's strong. You heard that? Mm-hmm. It's not like somebody knocking on it. Mm-hmm. Isn't that, that laundry room door open? Um, Can you go check it for me? The one to the outside. Yo, that's my son in the background. <laughs> uh, cut, cut off the light in the laundry room, please. So, we ready, y'all? Well, I'm ready. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. But yeah, you know how the karmics do. They be karmicking. That wind is strong. I'm sorry, y'all. We we get a lot of wind. Okay, Holy Spirit. Okay. We're going to do... I feel like love, but let's see what the Holy Spirit... Holy Spirit, what do you want us to know at this time? What do you want us to know? Do you want us to know about this for a moon magic that's going to be going on? What are they trying to do? Something about union, integration. Well, I shouldn't say enters. Yes, integration. In integration. Yes, integration. So, <laughs> let me. What I first got, I'm not gonna say it. Let me make, yeah, okay. So somebody is um remembering how it could be your kingdom spouse or some, ex or somebody, but because we don't got too much information. Okay, it could it, it could be your twin, your kingdom partner, your high level soulmate, what however you want to put your you know connection or whatever you want to name it. But a divine connection is here and. Either both of y'all or one of y'all are remember is like having nostalgic memories about how abundant this connection is, how unique it is. Um, and then we got abundance right here on this card. <laughs> then we got abundance on this card and gratitude and present. And then <laughs> guess what? Come on, baby. Sun, empowerment, and then um strength. So somebody is definitely <laughs> I, I, <laughs> So I said the divine masculine is in this energy and the divine feminine is in this energy. So here we go. Here we go. <laughs> like they're mirroring, mirroring each other but on different in different ways. So 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 the, the divine feminine is like in her strength, in her empowerment, in her sun energy, in her south north node, and this divine masculine is in his abundant and his present energy. <laughs> It's so beautiful. I love positive messages, y'all. This is cute. Make me want to kiss his energy. Yes. Somebody is <laughs> hey. Somebody is feeling themselves in their self-worth. That's the next card underneath the union. Yep, somebody is not only is it being nostalgia memory? I think feel like spirit is like remember the reading I had before this, and I said spirit. Somebody's twin flame head is on fire, like they're getting heck um, a lot of messages and downloads of a lot of uh, passion about this connection. And here we go. <laughs> oh, I never seen that. I I wish y'all could see that. If you see right here, there's a face in there. I just seen that face, and there's a man sitting right here. Definitely divine feminine and masculine energy. He you are heavy. You guys are heavy on each other's mind. You are get you guys are getting a lot of downloads and synchronicities about each other. Yes, it's growth coming in within this union. Ooh. Ooh, twin. Where have you been? No, I'm sorry. Yes, that's the first I you know how many times I done did how many readings I done did and never saw that woman's face until now. 
then we have uh, feminine energy. Definitely, both of y'all intuitions are lit, lit, lit. Especially the masculine. This came underneath the masculine card. Energies are lit. Yep, overcoming talk, realizing toxic bond and patterns, and toxicity. Uh, um. Just realizing where and using your intuition around these buns and patterns. I feel like uh, when this get clarified, I feel like this is going to be like a lot of not even you guys' energy, but a lot of like outside energy. That's how I feel when I picked up the card. So let's see what comes out. It's very inter I'm very interested to see what comes out. Yep. I told you it's a coming out of this lack. I think your divine masculine or both of you guys are coming out of lack and doubt. Told you. Told you this is on this is in the memories, messages, dreams, nostalgia, and then you have third eye clarity. Yes, I told you. Like <laughs> this me reading is this this is a high vibrational divine reading. Eleven hundred on the clock, very much so. Yes, you guys are gonna both be. <laughs> yeah, I can't with y'all. Y'all be. Yup. And they're realizing something about this distance being away from each other has grew this connection in some type of way. Oh my god, distance don't always mean a negative thing, sometimes distance is necessary. <laughs> Woo! Yep, I change what I told you. I, I felt like it was some karmic energy, but spirit, but the change courage card came out. So this divine mass, the divine feminine is in this to, uh, to realizing toxic bonds and pattern, and she's changing and having the courage to go towards um, a, her soft note, go towards a new um, um, healthier bonds, healthier patterns, and this divine masculine. <coughs> Is using his intuition around distance and retreat. Um, I feel like this distance was very necessary. Both of you guys needed to be away from each other to understand all of what was going on. Was a lot of confusion. It was a powerful confusion. But I feel like a lot of stuff that we didn't see came out, and it came out in a couple of readings ago, and plus some other readers and some other um, my 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 mother and God. She. She, she she be on point. She don't let off off the karmic's neck. She be telling it like it is. Told you. This divine masculine is seeing that his self worth was not putting him in his um in, in his um north node. He realized that the doubts is what kept him from being in his north node. <clears throat> And he, he's looking at some kind of mask that he was holding on. He I told you, but like both this this reading, both of you guys are mirroring each other. He's realized a lot of beliefs that he that he thought that he was wearing masks, and he realized that he was wearing a mask, but he was, or he knew he was wearing a mask. But we going I'm just I'm really anxious to see what's come out. Um, on top of that card to clarify, but it's like he getting mem like downloads or memory. Like, okay, this is what happened last time. This it, I, I just feel like it's a lot of um, toxic binds and patterns, a lot of black magic, a lot of stuff being revealed. I, I just told you, both of y'all in the middle, both of y'all are celebrating the truth, and you both are vulnerable but guarded, and that's the way it should be. <laughs> Taurus Virgo Capricorn and that's on the divine masculine's energy so he's this distance have put him in a placement of realizing who is true to him um what he need to change and how he need to grow and the a lot of stuff that was hidden is now revealed because guess what we have a full moon let me see what time it is it is 11 40 some here where I'm at Mountain time. <laughs> this full moon is revealing a lot. Yep. <clears throat> um. This divine feminine got messages. Got um. A communication. I feel like um from the spirit world about toxic bonding pattern. I know I did. The way I was eating, even though it was more healthier, so like you could do more. You could do better. You could eat healthier. You could do more. Than just eat 
you know, like you did a, it was a, they celebrated me. They was like, it's a big change for you, but you could do more. They let me know you, <laughs> like, we gonna push you to your, my spirit guys will push me to my full potential. They don't be playing with me. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, um, this, you could be a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, you or your person, um, but I feel like uh, a lot of what you guys go through is is more spoken than anything. It's like you could um, somebody North Note could be like singing, could be like poetry, could be like um, something where they have to speak, and they realize that they realize they have to speak. They have to speak up, say something, because if they don't, then they're gonna still be in their soft note. Yep. <clears throat> Your divine masculine, divine feminine could be smiling, watching, inspecting you, like seeing how you move. The truth is, both of you guys have a lot of compassion and, and love for each other. That's the that's the that's the truth. That's the truth. <laughs> yeah. I feel like um the 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 what spirit is revealing to the divine masculine at the time is something that happened. Um, just recently in autumn, just recently, because we just came out of autumn, we finna go in the spring. So yeah, I mean, it just came out of winter, we finna go in the spring, y'all. <laughs> we just came out of winter, we finna go in the spring. Uh, spring. I feel like something happened in autumn, and there something is being revealed. The distance that happened that was in autumn revealed something to this divine masculine, and they're thankful for it. I feel like they're being thankful for a spiritual le lesson. Yeah. Um, I feel like Divine Feminine got this message to stop being closed off and guarded. That's what um, her toxic pattern was to be closed off and guarded and resistant. And Spirit said, Stop doing it. Be open. Be loving. Be kind. I'm good for that because I, <laughs> I was so used to doing that um, because of a couple of cycles ago, a couple of seasons ago, I had to do that to protect myself because it was a lot of a lot of warfare. It's a lot of craziness when I'm. But I feel like the divine, the the the, uh, the spirit guides and ancestors, the Most High God, don't want you to to be like that. You can come out of that spirit, so you can come out of being like that. Yeah. See, y'all left behind a lot of limitations, a lot of fears, a lot of rejection, loss, and fragmented people. Could be parts of yourself that you healed. Um, a lot of came out of that soft node, and y'all realize <laughs> what your wish fulfillment is. And somebody is wishing for family, home, commitment, and they are <laughs> wanting <laughs> you both. You guys, this is the this is. Uh, divine um, messages, divine partnership messages. So you guys, you guys are both open at this time. You guys are mirroring each other, and you really want to be together. And the divine has brought you together. The divine has brought you together. This is off the bottom of the deck, you guys. And you're somebody is free from a third party situation. Somebody, but somebody is trying to. This Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be somebody's karma. It could be a, 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 a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, they could have been very controlling, and they probably want to be this try to control you, but it's gone. But they're wishing for a rebirth, and they're in this love, this uh, uh, past energy, this lack suffering. They're definitely in that, and they're definitely yeah, somebody's karmic is definitely triggered. They definitely are triggered, and they try to be. <clears throat> tied to your to your person, they try to tie y'all down. Either way, it goes to how it resonate, and a breakthrough happen, a purge happen, a release happen. You start trusting in divine timing. Both of you start praying to the ancestors, and <laughs> you took care of yourself, and that's what got this chemistry back going. That's what got everything back flowing because you realize. Some deception. Then you realize you didn't have to long uh, w uh, wish for your person because your person is already with you. Your higher self told you to release the guilt, release the sabotage. Okay, they getting it together, y'all. <laughs> they getting it together. What are Al Green? So I think that let's get together. Um, 
I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about love and basketball. What's that song? I think it's Al Green. Let's stay together or something like that. That's that's the song that's popping up in my head. It didn't quite pop up all the way, but somebody could be listening to Al Green. You or your um divine counterpart. But this is definitely a beautiful reading. So you guys, I'm out. I don't have to really <laughs> do so much. <laughs> The cards was cardening and the energy was energy. <laughs> and we saw all aboard. I know, I know, I know. 2030 on the clock. All right, you guys. Peace. I'm out.